This is the Toro Multiforce with the JRCO Hooker Aerator. So I think this one is made for the Multiforce. Look, mount the Multiforce Aerator. So this is a pretty sweet setup. What's up Stripe Nation, Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. Today is my first day of aerating here in 2021 and I have a new product here. This is the JRCO Hooker Aerator. So I'm gonna get you guys some shots of it in action, but I wanted to do it like an up close deep dive first day kind of review if you will. Um, some things that I love about it, some things that eh, just kind of were aggravating. Um, nothing huge, nothing a big deal. And it's actually these little flaps right here. It's just made for like, when this thing's throwing up the plugs, this is kind of your little flap guard here. I got it, it kept getting like stuck, like jammed into here, making it so these tines couldn't spin properly. Um, not a huge deal, just kind of a, a little bit of a nuisance. It happens like once or twice on each property. Um, but other than that, guys, it is a little bit different than like a, like an old fashioned core aerator where it pulls up those big plugs. The tines are hollow in the middle. It's a little bit different. It does the same thing. And this setup is a ton faster. I can get in a lot more areas, some of those tight corners since the whole machine doesn't have to be. It's sticking out like three feet. So I can kind of get the tines in those small corners of the property. I don't think I would enjoy using this type of aerator if it wasn't for the hydraulic system here. If it wasn't for that hydraulic system, it wouldn't be as enjoyable, but I do have it here on the Multiforce. And if you guys don't know much about the Multiforce, the Multiforce has this mount here that's hydraulically driven up and down, and I also have the high flows on here. So I can run any of like 30 or 40 or 50 attachments. I don't even know how many they have. I have a snow plow, a broom, this aerator, the mulch force, which is that bucket that you guys see it automatically dumps. You can go back in some of my videos from springtime of us mulching with it. Um, but man, they, they made this machine. This isn't like a Toro ad, by the way, but they've made this machine so you can use it all year round, you know, on one unit, which is pretty cool. Today we're aerating with it, but guys, this is super cool. It hasn't been, hasn't been the best day aerating the very first lawn. I'll tell you the situation here. I broke a, I say I, a main water line for the irrigation system broke, but it wasn't from the tines. The, the water line was actually like a foot and a half in the ground. I think it had a small hole, a small leak in it. For years, Kyle came and fixed it with Atlas Landscaping. He said he thinks that pipe has been broken for about three or four years, like a very long time. It was not a tine in there. So we dug it up about a foot and a half deep. There was a hole in it, but there was also a crease in that pipe, like, that it's been there forever like when installation and after water year after year water pressure no water pressure water pressure that it just burst and then this heavy machine went on top of it and that was just kind of the last straw it broke um it's kind of one of those weird coincidences it looked like it was my fault it was a maybe a little bit but it was more it was already broken and i was just kind of the last straw that broke it but um, that took my morning wasn't fun it wasn't a good conversation with the customer either, um, but you have to remember these things happen. You will 
cable lines and, and uh, Wi-Fi lines and all that, Google Fiber and all that, the fiber lines, sometimes they don't put them down there six inches where they're supposed to be. Sometimes they're two, three, four inches down on the ground. You hit them, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cable. It happens a couple times a year. These things happen, you have to incorporate that stuff into your pricing. I know it's hard, but maybe, maybe it's $10, $20 per customer more for incidences that are gonna happen, you know, one every 10, 20 yards. It happens, I'm sorry. I've been doing this for, I've been aerating for probably six years now and something happens every year. One, two, three, four things happen every single year. Just happened on the first day, which is a little uh, <laughs> unmotivating, but uh, man, this, th this machine's a beast. I also have a, a leaf plow. If you guys have ever seen those, a leaf plow. Uh, that I'm super excited to use. Um, and with this hydraulic system, man, these things just work really, really well. You, these are weighted each individually. They all pivot, all three of these pivot on their own. They turn on their own and then each tine moves up and down on its own with its own weight. This thing is like seriously solid. It's built tough um, and I had good, good success with it and got a lot of aeration space done like some huge huge properties with this thing so one other thing that i wanted to kind of let you guys know that this is pretty early for aeration season but it's here if you guys haven't looked in if you've been procrastinating a little bit on um, looking at seed prices seed prices have doubled what i was charging last year um, to seed properties is now the new seed price so the price has doubled which is a little um, a little scary explaining to customers because of the drought this year and I'm sure everything else that's going on with you know the world right now um, has played into that but seed prices have doubled um, so just just work that in maybe go through if you guys have LMN go through again and make sure you're inputting all of these little things that are more expensive this year I haven't even looked at aerator rental if you guys are renting aerators hey sorry my customer just uh, drove by but um, if you guys haven't looked into seed prices, if you haven't put that into LMN, go through there, go through and type in all of your expenses again and make sure you're charging enough to the customers this year with air rating and overseeding. Seed prices have never been this high since I've seen them. Like 130, 140 for a, uh, I, my lowest price was 125 for a 50 pound bag of um, fescue. So. It's crazy, crazy high prices. Um, so your air rating and seating prices are gonna be higher this year. If you guys have LMN, just go through, take the 20 minutes and get your prices set straight so you're making money and you have profit at the end of the day because this stuff is so expensive right now. Um, listen, man, I rented aerators for years. We have some great partnerships this year and through the last couple years, we're using the Stinger aerator for the backyards. Um, but man, I, you can make money renting. I did it for five years, four or five years renting aerators. Even last year I rented aerators, but you have to know the numbers up front. You can't just rent all the stuff, buy all the seed and think you're charging enough. And then at the end of the day, you're like, Hey, where's all the money? Let's not play that game. Let's, let's go out there to, to make money and make a profit and do good work for your customers. Um, and that's what it's all about. But I'm on like a high busy street and everybody's looking at me while I'm with the camera. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this footage, man. Had a really good day, not a great morning, but uh, that's all right, we're making money. And that's all I wanna do for you guys is make sure you're out there making money and providing the service to your customers because the way I see it, they're gonna get the work done. So it might as well be you providing that service. And uh, I hope I can answer some questions and give you guys some insight about how to make money out there. So. Um, if you guys want to know, these are like normal, probably seven to 10,000 square foot lawns, uh, maybe 6,000 to 10,000. Um, and I'm charging about 140, 150 for the aeration. Um, some properties, of course, it's more than that and all that. But with seed prices so high right now, like I said, I get it for 120, you got to add tax onto that. Uh, so let's, let's just call it 140 or whatever, okay? Uh, you know, I'm charging, 250 for a 15 pound bag of seed um which is it's a lot i mean i'm just be honest but that price isn't really it's not my fault i still have to go out there and make money i can't just charge the seed price and then me pointlessly wasting time and money basically 
um, doing it for free. So unfortunately you just have to charge those higher seating prices um, and hopefully next year it goes down and I'll bring my price back down. Um, like, I, I, like I always say guys, I'm not out here trying to rip people off and make money, but I am out here to make money and provide for my family and, and my business. And that's all that this cool shiny equipment does. And that's what it's there for. That's why these manufacturers make this stuff is to provide a good quality service to your customers and for you to make money and, and, and better your life and business and family. So that's what it's all about. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.